everyone and welcome to today's episode of the vlog so in today's episode our objective is to get the van started so let's not waste any time let's get straight out there because there's a few things that we need to resolve um, and we've got the parts so let's get fixing okay so let's kick off this is the replacement rail that we've got this is the part now this has been tested so I know it's working and yes it is a second hand part now i can hear the purest of you saying why didn't you buy a new part you should have bought a new part but i didn't so get over it let's move on this is exact same part number and uh, this is the regulator that has gone and this is a sensor at the end here that comes with it so we're going to leave everything on so we don't have to change the gaskets all we need to do is take the old one off and then put this one back in and then the van should start. I've had the battery on charge now for a while, so we should be good to go there. Let's go and take a look at the car and see what we have to do. I keep saying car, but it is a van. All right, so we've got the old regulator underneath there. So we need to move this wiring loom here, which connects to our, um, our injectors and also connects our glow plugs. Okay, so we'll just unbolt this. We'll unconnect the uh, uh, injectors the diesel injectors and that will then free this up then we'll undo these bolts here 17 mil and then we'll take off this spline here which looks like an 8, eight an M8 spline and that should release the uh, fuel rail and then we'll simply just replace it with the old one and then or with a new one that we've got and then the van should hopefully start once we get that done we can then take a look at that oil filter and get in the oil cooler change so uh time last time Okay, old rail, new rail, exactly the same. So we'll get the new one in now and uh, and then we'll put the battery in and get the car. Van, van, I must keep stop saying car. Get the van started. Okay, so that's the new rail in and back in place. Wasn't as uh, challenging as I thought it was gonna be actually. It's very easy to get this in. Okay, so now that we've got this in, 
let's now get the new back we'll get the battery back in and we'll prime the system and then we'll give it a start and see how she goes okay battery is in let's prime it okay let's uh we'll turn it over and let's see what we get Prime it up a bit. Get the fuel through it. And hopefully it will shoot start. Okay, almost. Try that again. Hmm. Still getting the same issues. We'll try one more time, then we'll get the old OBD on it. Let's get the old OBD sensor on there and see what it's telling us. Right, so I've just completed the scan. It's found 15 faults. Let's put this down here, shall we? Um, let's clear the faults. Uh, yeah, let's take this clear those faults and uh, let's see what we get left with. So it shouldn't take that long. I'm expecting some of those faults will just be the basic ones because the battery's been off, so the steering one, that'll be a, a, a classic. But the, the rest of it should be um, should be clear. But with the one that we're interested in is whether the um, engine ones are still there. So we'll wait, we'll let it finish that and then we'll go into it and see what it's cleared. All right, so the steering one is still there. That's absolutely fine. Let's go in and see what we can see. Right, so engine, <coughs> engine faults are, are clear. So if we just do a... There we go. So we are absolutely clear on that. Let's go back. Let's see what it's actually found. I'm expecting it just to be the steering. Because that's the only one. Yeah, steering assistance. It's found two faults. Steering angle and steering. Yeah, that's fine because the battery's been off. So all we have to do is just basically rotate the steering wheel one way full lock. And then the other way full lock. And then that will clear that one. Okay. So if that's the only fault that it's found so far, let's continue going down, see if there's anything else. No, nope, that's it. Just just the steering. So hmm. If that's all it's found, why is it not starting? Let's take this out. Let's try it again and see if it will start. It might just be that we need to pump the fuel uh, fuel, uh through it. Let's try it one more time. Okay. Turn it on. Okay, that was better this time. Let's try that again. Now, uh, something's still not quite right there. Ah, uh, scratchy head moment. Let me see what I can come up with. Okay. Stop the press. We've come up with a cylinder four glow plug control circuit low error. I don't think that this would stop the vehicle from starting, but I've got to grab something. So um, I'm going to take a look at this, see what this possibly could be, and then I'm going to take it from there. Actually, just found another Central Electrics um, anti theft system. Now that could potentially cause a problem if this is it's saying that the uh, sensor no signal communication. Now that could possibly cause a fault. Let me look into that and see what we can do. Okay, so um, let me tell you what I've done. I've got a new glow plug, but I also decided to get a new uh, fuel filter. 
Let me show you the fuel filter that I've just taken out. Look at the color of that. That is absolutely, well, I'm pretty sure that that's dirty because let me show you a new one. Yeah, that is, that is bad. So I'm not saying that's the cause, but that's certainly not going to help. So we're going to put this new one in and um, we're then going to change the glow plug. I've got a Bosch glow club, bow plug. We'll take the old one out, which is just here. And then this is number four, but we'll just test it to make sure that that is given a faulty reading. So um, yeah, let's get that done. Let's see if this vehicle is going to start. The battery has dropped, so I've put an additional uh, battery on there, as you can see the clamp. So let's see if this thing will start now. <sighs> nope. All right, let's go and take a look and see if we've got any colds come up. Right, so just looking through the van and all the colds are now clear. We've got some stuff here, but that's nothing. That is to do with the alarm still. And um, again, I don't think that this has anything to do with it because it's talking about the horn and it's talking about the anti theft sensor. So that's one of the sensors inside of the vehicle rather than something stopping the vehicle from running. I don't know. Um, but something is stopping this van from running and it doesn't seem to be an engine fault or anything. So at this stage, I'm kind of stumped because even when well, I'll show you, if I try and run any faults, it's not finding anything on the engine. And that's, that's where we're going to find the faults. So yeah, I am stumped. I have to think about this one and see, uh, see if we can figure this out. Um, I'm not sure what this is here. This looks like an immobilizer of some kind. Uh, and whether that could be stopping it, could be, I'm not sure, but I need to look into it. I need to take this apart and see where this goes. But that's the only thing I've got at the moment. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, so I've now gone out and bought a new battery because your battery just had it. it, it just wasn't working so we've got a new battery and I also decided to have a quick check of the EGR valve and uh, look at the state of that I don't know if you can see it on camera but it's pretty bad so I've disconnected it and leave left it disconnected I have a hunch that the problem with this van is that the um, DPF is is completely blocked and that's the reason why it's not starting so we're going to remove the EGR valve and that's a telltale sign so i'm assuming that this is all blocked up inside as well which means we need to just take all this off and clean but if this is the case the van should hopefully start let's see give it a start we'll try again boom that is a problem. Let me just check the exhaust to see if there's anything coming out the back. Yeah, there is a fun, a funny smell. So I reckon that's what it is. And that's sort of that's a tell, that's a telltale sign by taking that apart. Right, that is progress. At least we kind of got 
a suspect on where we need to go now. So we need to clean all this up, take this apart, clean this pipe up, and that'll put us in a good place. Right, so we're just taking out this uh, valve here, EGR valve, covered in what I think is oil. I'm gonna prove the theory. I think that when we start this van, I think this is full of oil. This will spurt out a whole lot of smoke if it is. Let's see. And there's our smoking gun. Look at the state of that. That is soaking wet. I just started up and the van started up no problem, but bellowed out tons of smoke. And look at the oil on that. So there is our issue. Um, I've noticed that this car is also overfilled with oil. So um, whoever serviced this van did not have a, a scooby as to what they were doing and um, may have ruined this vehicle but we will fix it but now we know what we're playing with and that's the reason why the car the van wasn't starting i mean look at that the, look it sprayed oil all over the back there just literally a whole lot of smoke just came out so we'll deal with that in the best way possible this will need to be cleaned up maybe even replaced uh, but we now have a course and that's the main thing so i'm really happy about that so uh okay i think that is enough for this week so some great news there we've got the van started we think i think i'm pretty sure now what the issue is and when i check the oil level again it is above the top so that van has got way too much oil the oil is basically bursting through the combustion chamber and the smoke that I saw, and believe me, if this van was auditioning for uh, a James Bond double, it would have passed straight away because the amount of smoke that came out was incredible. So essentially the car's, the van is just overfilled with oil and it's now just blocked up all the exhaust um, system. And that's the reason why when it started, it then stopped because there was nowhere for the exhaust to go and it just backs up. There you go, poor maintenance. At least that's my theory. So in next week's episode, we'll be draining down the oil, we'll be cleaning out the EGR valve. I'm gonna take as much as I can apart and clean up. And then we're gonna just see the best way to get that exhaust cleared up uh, with all that oil. Cause I mean, if there's gonna be, I have a smoke out of the neighborhood, which will not make me popular or We'll see if we can extract it in some way or shape or form to, to just to get rid of it. But um, yeah, that's a good result for us and may have actually meant that someone threw a perfectly good van into, into Copa for no reason. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe if you are a casual viewer and uh, click on the bell notification if you want to see what else happens in this excitement of this van. Um, hope you've enjoyed this episode and we'll see you in the next one.